what do companies usually do? Companies create an app. They bring it out to the people on the street. Right? Now we have an app too. And that's the response. Is that a clever response? Yeah, it's a short-sighted response. Because there are so many digital channels. There's not only mobile, a lot more. And the challenge really is today, how are you present on all those digital channels? Because you don't know which one's going to take off next. It's a lot of work to be present on all digital channels. Huge investment. How can you um, keep track of all of them and create very good solutions on all of them? It's almost not possible. So which channels are there? There are, of course, mobile. And you may need to create a couple of different mobile apps in order to reach customers where they are in all their special needs you want to support them all the niches that they are in right one of the niches could be of course this pay-as-you-go car insurance but that's only one niche right and it's very small you want to provide solutions for a lot of different niches right very personalized solutions are possible. But then you, of course, need to create all those personalized solutions. And then when people are at home, they use a different digital channel. Now they probably want to interact via voice, for example, with this chatbot, Amazon, Alexa, uh, Apple has a product, Google has a product like that, right? You talk and that's the interface. You talk to the computer, the computer understands and then uses different services in the background. And so you want to be present on this chat channel here via voice as well. And then when you're riding in your car, uh, you also want that your services are present in whatever control there is in the car to interact with services on the internet. So what digital leaders do in this situation in order to reach all digital channels and in order to be available for different niches for products that are created for different niches they do something that's very clever and let's look at what it is those digital leaders do now the digital leaders they create an api we've looked at this before an application programming interface you can think of the api as a lego brick why because the lego brick like the api can be used in a lot of different situations to build a lot of different things, to build a lot of different digital products. It can be reused. And why? Because it has a very clean, clear and approachable interface. So if we look at business, then we have a couple of different companies that want to bring products to the market. And there's one company, which is a digital leader, and it brings out the API as a digital product. Now, who's going to want an API except for some techie people, right? Who want to use the command line to interact with that company? Well, that's too short sighted because now a lot of products or basically all products are digitally enabled. So there's someone else here in another company that creates a digital product, right? creates a digital product by putting together those Lego bricks, those building blocks from different companies, some from his own, some from different companies, and he integrates them and builds something great with it, something new. And he integrates this red building block from our um, digital leader over here in his solution. And out comes, out of the solution comes for example, an app. And with this app, he can reach a number of customers in his specific niche. Now there's another guy in another company and he also uses building blocks, pre-existing building blocks, APIs, in order to build his digital product. His digital product is something for the automotive world. And with this um, offering that he has to bring to the market, he reaches a different set of end users. Now, what you may have noticed is that, well, they all use a red building block. And this red building block is 
this API offered by the digital leader. So all of a sudden, the service, the offering that the digital leader brings out to the market is integrated in a lot of different products. And that way, it can reach a very large portion of the end user market. Right, and then there's maybe another guy over here, and this guy's building digital products for a chatbot. And with this chatbot, he can reach another set of end users. And as you might have seen, this digital solution also uses the red building block of this company over here. That's very clever because a digital leader is now present in a very large market share. He has a very large, large market share, is present in a lot of different digital products, and he didn't have to invest anything in the creation of those innovative digital end products. He just brought out this building block.